Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Trucking Truth. I'm Michael, and uh, I want to go over an important topic today. We're going to talk about miles per gallon versus miles per hour. Which one is better? Should I drive slower or should I drive faster? What are my benefits and what are the pros and cons of each? So, uh, before we get into that, I want to take a second. And for anybody who is just watching this channel for the first time, take a second, scroll down to the bottom there and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, roll over to the side, hit that notification button, and all that fun jazzy stuff, blah, 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 blah. Um, also, for all you guys who are, uh, you know, followers of the channel, I appreciate you guys following. Um, any of you guys have any questions, like I always say, you guys can hit me up in the comments below. You can also hit me up in Instagram at Trucking Truth. You can hit me up uh, if you're looking to support the channel in any way. You can go to my Patreon account at Patreon at Trucking Truth. I'll put the link here also, and it'll be in the description below. Um, you know, uh, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the questions. That just tells me that you guys are interested. Apparently, I'm giving you information that you guys are looking for, and that just makes me happy that I'm able to help you guys out. So I thank you guys, and I hope that I am actually able to help you guys in some way, shape, or form to make money and be successful in this business. That is my goal for this channel, is to help you guys be successful and make money, all right? Take a second, grab yourself a pen and paper, use a tablet, your phone, however you wanna do it, but I'm gonna put some numbers up here, and uh, we're gonna go over these numbers together. Uh, they're not concrete numbers, so I wanna make sure that you guys understand that when it comes to fuel mileage and miles per hour and miles per gallons, there's a lot of variables to in include. Um, barometric pressure, so elevation, um, weather, the size of your load, the weight of your load, the terrain that you're driving through, so many variables that go into this. So what we're gonna do is just some soft numbers, kind of like what I get with my truck, and obviously that's the other you know variables. What motor you got, what rear end you got, what transmission do you got? My God, it doesn't stop. But anyhow, um, let's go over these numbers real fast. Hopefully by now you guys have a pen and paper, have some way to track it. If not, pause the video for a second, go get, go get you know what you need to write down. Let's go over these numbers, all right? Let's go ahead and dive on into it. So, um, I chose three dollars and one cent as a kind of soft average for fuel for uh, average fuel cost. It's not off the DOE average or anything like that. Nothing, nothing like that. Nothing fancy. Um, I chose 10.1 miles to the gallon at 62 miles an hour, loaded moderately. Okay, so. And if you do 10.1 miles to the gallon for $3.01 per gallon, that comes out to 29 cents, uh, a ga uh, 29 cents a mile for fuel, all right? Um, so at 62 miles an hour times 11 hours, we're looking at 682 miles for the day times five, that's 3,410 miles for the week times 52, that's 177,320 miles for the year. So, 177,320 miles for the year multiplied by 29 cents per mile equals $51,422.80 for the year in fuel. Now, that's at 62 mile an hour, guys. At 70 mile an hour, you're going to see your fuel mileage decrease, depending, of course, on where you're at, what you're running, how heavy, and so forth. I chose 8.7 miles to the gallon. I sometimes get nines doing 70, but again, all depends on where you're going and what you're hauling. Um, 70 mile an hour at 8.7 miles to the gallon comes out to 34 cents a mile to run. So, 70 mile an hour at 11 hours, 770 miles for the day, multiplied by five, 3,850 miles for the week, multiplied by 52 is 200,200 miles for the year. Now. 200,200 miles for the year multiplied by 34 cents a mile is $68,068 for the year in fuel. Now, $68,068 minus $51,422.80 equals $16,645.20 difference in fuel increase by going 70 mile an hour. But here's the caveat. The difference in mileage between the 200,200 200, and the 177,320 
is an additional 22,880 miles. So now we take the 22,880 and multiply that by a good average number. We'll say $1.85 a mile for your average um, revenue for what you've gotten. So if you, you, know, you do all your calculations at the end of the year and you've averaged out to $1.85 for all miles. Now, 22,880 miles multiplied by $1.85 a mile comes to an additional $42,328 that you've made above and beyond what you made driving 62 miles an hour. So now we take that $42,328, we subtract out the $16,645.20 increase in fuel and you still come out with an additional profit, guys. An additional profit of $25,682.80. You're welcome. <laughs> My point, guys, miles per hour wins, guys. Miles per hour with knockout. I mean, you guys do what you want. I just figured I'd throw this out there and give you guys a little bit of insight from you know from my point of view and how I do things. I can't sit doing 62 miles an hour. I'm not driving for JB Hunt, Swift, Warner, Schneider, or any one of these mega carriers who says that uh, I'm you know uh, I'm not uh, skilled enough to drive at 70 mile an hour. I've got the skills. I drive 70 mile an hour virtually everywhere within you know the constraints of the law and whatever else. But um, I can't drive 62 miles an hour. And I do it because it's my choice because I know that I cover more miles in a year and more miles in a year means more money in my pocket. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I made it real short and sweet, guys, just for the sheer fact that this was like take 15. I'm glad that I made it through all eight minutes of this video without somebody calling me because that was the problem. Every time I'd start this video, somebody would call me. Um, if you guys have any issues with the math, uh, or you have any questions, maybe I missed a variable or something like that, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up, I'll put my email up here too, uh, and then you guys can you know, shoot me a question. Anytime you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I answer everybody, guys. Uh, it may take me a little bit to get to, the, you know, to get to the email or get to the comment, either because I'm busy getting loaded or whatever the case may be, but um, I answer everybody, guys. Eventually, I will answer you without a problem. So again, guys, Instagram, email, Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you guys want to support the channel, support it on Patreon, all right? I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take it easy, be safe, and keep the greasy side down.